Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Feel Better Food. So today we're making a Guinness barbecue sauce in my beautiful kitchen. Um, so I'm going to show you the ingredients. It's really easy to make. It's about an hour, so obviously there's going to be cuts and shit. So just watch, enjoy, and let's get it on. So our first ingredients, we got onions. Now that's a full onion, large onion chopped minced, so it's nice. Five-ish garlic cloves. We got some, I believe that is a cup. A half a, uh, yeah, no, half a cup of, uh, of uh, white vinegar. We got a half cup of molasses in there for some sweetness. Over here we got a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a teaspoon of salt, and a half teaspoon of black pepper. We got some Frank's Red Hot. I like that. Some nice liquid smoke. If you ever get it, please get it. It's really good. So we got hickory here. We got about a cup of tomato paste. And of course, the pièce de résistance. Guinness drought. Got that. Also, you need two tablespoons of butter and a big-ass pot to bake it. To make it. Bake it, make it. Eh, you know how we do. All right. So, let's start. So you get your two of these. Give me a second. I need a spoon. Didn't think this one through. Butter, spoon. There we go. Go back for seconds. Because you need two. That's about right. Seems about right. And I'm doing this uh, solo, so it's a little harder. Okay, got a nice close up of that butter. Spoon. There we go. Bring this stuff in here. So we're going to bring this up to melt the butter. So we can get a nice uh, base in there for our onions and garlic. I'm going to do that for about eight minutes. All right, so uh, just wait. Should have probably heated this up beforehand. We can, let's get some light in there. Ooh, light. It's pretty. So we're going to take our, gar our uh, onions. Bring this over here. It's going to be good. Go into the messy sink. Take this over. Put that in there. All that. Nice. Mm. It's going to have so much flavor. It's going to be delicious. Make sure you rinse at all times. It's easier to keep prepared and cleaning while you're doing it. All right. Now, I'm going to get one of my spoons. So this is going to be like eight minutes. We're going to be uh, sauteing, getting this all nice and caramelized. Nice flavors. Sing stuff I don't even know. It's all good. So yeah, this is going to be eight minutes. We'll be back in about eight. So this is a few seconds in. You can hear that nice smell. I hear that nice smell. Hell yeah, nice sizzle. The smell is cool. I love the smell of onions cooking. You got to just move it around a bit to make sure that it doesn't burn, obviously. You want a nice caramel. Um, just a few more minutes on this. Just doing all that. And... Uh, Listen to some music. You have a Guinness there, crack open. Make sure you have about a cup of Guinness left in your thing. So make sure you have that and then uh, drink the rest. Just Guinness. Delicious. And... Alright, we'll be back in a bit. So it's been eight minutes. Got a nice caramel color going on with my uh, onions and garlic. So we're going to start adding the other stuff. We're going to add the, uh, the vinegar first. So vinegar right here. Pepper and cayenne in there. Woo! Brown sugar in there. Cup and a half of brown sugar. There we go. The molasses. Let me get some molasses in here. Oh yeah, it's so delicious. I'm gonna put the camera over like that for a bit. Oopsie. You see me, I'm just getting the extra caramel uh, car, um, molasses in. Good to the last drop. I want all that goodness in there. As you can see all the molasses. Now, we, I like a little spice to mine, so I'm going to hit it up with some Frank's Red Hot. 
One, two, three, four. That's about it. I like four. Um, now we're going to put some... Oh, one second here. Mm -hmm. Just look at that. Ooh, it's delicious. I like some smoked. It smells delicious. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About eight really does it. You don't want to overpower it because uh, it is quite strong. Now we PS de resistance. Oh, the guineas. So we need a cup. So I'm gonna flip this around so I can see the cup. This paste. I should be. There's a cup. Delicious. Now, of course, I need to have some Guinness. I've been cooking. Guinness. Oh, it's delicious. All right. Back to the Guinness. Pour this over here. And now we got to stir. We're going to keep this stirring and going. And make sure nothing sticks to the bottom. We're going to go for about 10 minutes of when it's a rolling uh, boil. Sorry about that. Rolling boil, 10 minutes. So yeah, rolling boil, 10 minutes on this. And then uh, once it's a rolling boil for about 10 minutes, you're going to add your tomato paste. It's going to be really good. I can't wait. Um, so yeah, we're going to come back in about 10 minutes. I'm just going to stir this. I don't think you want to do this for the next 10 minutes. So Yeah, so that's that. Oh, I can smell that nice hickory smoke. Maybe add a little bit more... Uh, hot sauce to it. Yeah, so that's that. See you in about 10. So we got our roll, rolling boil. We're going to just let this simmer for about 10 minutes um, just because it's going to be good. So let's go. Nice boil going on here. Keep everything good. It looks delicious. Can't wait. Let me just turn it down a little. I can smell, oh, you're going to be smelling so many good stuff right now. It's delicious. The Guinness is in there. It's making it nice and frothy. You know it's good. It's going to reduce a bit, so it's going to be good. And everything. Yeah. You want to stir it to make sure nothing sticks to the bottom, because if that sticks to the bottom, then you're in trouble. I'm just going to keep it going for 10 minutes. Then we're going to add our paste, but that's... Uh, a little bit, so that's delicious right there. Make sure you're enjoying your uh, your Guinness. So if you oh, a few drinks of that, it's always good. Oh, my God, nice boil there. It's like a very soupy consistency. You'll notice it. It's going to be good. Um, yeah. So make sure you have a relatively large pot because it did bounce up. Um, just because of heating that. Uh, so yeah, just a large pot like this will be good. It's going to be delicious. You can try it on ribs, chicken. Um, if you want, you can put it on some steaks. I wouldn't recommend it. You can use it uh, a little bit of barbecue sauce on your burgers when you get that. So yeah. So that's pretty much it. So uh, we'll be back in like when I add the paste. So just hold on. So I've been cooking for the last 10 minutes. As you can see, it's, sim it's uh, lowered from about here down to here. Um, reduced in that technical term. So yeah, now I'm about to add my paste. That's my tomato paste. A cup of tomato paste, or just about a cup. Um, switch hands. Alright, uh, over there. Right. All right, now we have to get the spoon out. Alright, so this is going to be a little blackout. Now you just put it in there, you lower the heat down to about minimum low over there, and you just stir it in. Um, so this is going to help thicken up your sauce because right now it's not that thick. It's going to give it a nice, good, and you see how lowered. And now it's getting that nice thickness, that nice thick barbecue sauceness. You're going to keep stirring it. This is what you're going to do for about 30 minutes. So, yeah, you stir it, it's going to get that nice thick consistency, and let this stir in, you're going to get that tomato paste stirred in, it's going to give that nice, nice, nice uh, consistency, you're going to enjoy this, um, oh yeah, it already looks good, look at that thickness, oh, it's going to be good, 
Um, so yeah, we'll come back in 30 when this is nice and uh, done, and then we'll move on, and I'll show you what what's the next step. Hope you're enjoying. Make sure to be drinking your Guinness all day. So you want to make sure it's you continually stir it so it doesn't stick to the bottom for the 30 minutes. You get a nice, it's getting nice and thick here. I added a bit more drops of uh, hot sauce because I like my uh, nice and hot pick out, you know, because I am from the French place of Quebec. So yeah, so you do what you want, just keep stirring it. You'll see that it's bubbles, but that's fine. Just keep stirring it and it'll come out nice and nice and thick. It's getting that nice barbecue sauce flavor. It's gonna be delicious. I can't wait to try it on some nice chicken. I'm barbecuing later. Um, yeah, so you can do what you want. You can marinate, you can uh, brush it on. Really what you choose to. I can't wait to try it. Um, so yeah, I'll be back in a bit. So here's the final product, people. Nice, thick consistency, it's gorgeous. Uh, you're gonna turn off the heat and let it sit to room temperature. You can then put it on whatever you want. I'm gonna be putting it on chicken tonight and it's gonna be delicious. You're gonna marinate it, whatever you feel like doing with this barbecue sauce. So, hope you enjoyed, feel better cooking. I'm gonna be back with another video, probably another barbecue sauce, maybe even a meal. I don't know yet, but enjoy and remember, Feel better. Mmm, Guinness.